Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen some introductory part of Hadoop where we have discussed what is Hadoop, how it works, its core components as well as we have seen Hadoop ecosystem and their components in detail. So to proceed further we need to install Hadoop in your local machine. So you will get a hands on experience on each and every tool in the Hadoop ecosystem. So in this lecture, we are going to install HDP Sandbox for Windows PC. HDP is nothing but Hortonworks data platform which will provide us a Hadoop cluster which we can run on our local PC. So if you want to have a hands on on Hadoop, just follow along and install Hadoop on your local PC. So let's get started with the Hadoop installation. So first of all, we need to download and run a virtual machine on your local PC. So to do that, just go into a favorite browser and search for virtualbox.org. And here you can see some friendly button where you can download Oracle VirtualBox so that we can set up a Linux environment in a Windows PC. So just click on download. So just click on Windows host. And it's hardly a 103 megabytes of file. So just wait and download that file. After downloading, just open the file, click on yes. And after that, just keep it as a default and you will be fine. So next, next, yes, install. So that's it. The virtual box is ready and installed. But we are not going to start it yet. So click on finish. So now let's install the HDB sandbox for Windows. So to do that, just go to the cloudera.com website as the Cloudera have already owned Hortonworks few years back. So this product HDP Sandbox comes under Cloudera only. So to access that, just go to the search bar and just type it HDP Sandbox. So just click on it. And after that, you can access it through the downloads tab. So go to downloads. And here you can see Hortonworks Sandbox product download. So here you have to install the Hortonworks HDP. So you will get started with practicing Hadoop, Spark, Hive, Edgebase and so many more services present in the Hadoop ecosystem. So just click on download now. And here choose the virtual box since we have already installed virtual box in our PC. And click on let's go. Here you have to accept the terms and acknowledgement and submit. Here the latest version is available but I will encourage you to go with the older versions because the latest version will consume more memory. So if you are short with the RAM then go with either 2.615 otherwise you can also download 2.5.0. There are not many major differences in those. So I'll just select on 2.6.5 version and since it's a very big file so just keep patient and hit pause and after downloading it we will continue our installation. Okay, so after downloading it, I have just placed this file in a separate folder. So after downloading the file, just open that OVA file. And here you can see. So we just want to import the HDP sandbox to our virtual box. So just click on import and it will take a while. So just wait for it until it completes. And after that, we can boot up our HDP sandbox. Okay, so our HDB sandbox has been successfully imported. So to start it, just click on start. So it is just same like booting up the Linux system. So it will take a while. And as you can see, our HDB sandbox is ready and in the running state. So now you can access your Hadoop cluster through a web browser. So just go to the web browser, open a new tab and go it as, as you can see here it is given. So the welcome screen will be the local host 1080. So just type local host 1080. Hit enter. As you can see, this is the welcome screen for HDP sandbox. You just click on launch dashboard and to access this, the credentials will be Maria underscore dev or Raj underscore OPS. So we will go for Maria underscore dev and the password will also be Maria underscore dev. These are the credentials which are provided by Hortonworks itself. So just click on sign in 
and as you can see so this is your hadoop cluster and here are all the services which are running on your cluster but wait a minute what are all those alerts so since your sandbox is still loading so it is just starting all the services so it will take a while so just wait for some time until all the services will be up and running so until all the services will start let me give you a quick overview of what this ambari is so ambari is a web ui where you can monitor access all the services running on your hadoop cluster so as you can see hdfs yarn mapreduce so all these services are running on our hadoop cluster and here you can see all the metrics such as disk usage data nodes live since it's a single cluster so it only has a one data node live it also has name node heap uptime and all other information since we haven't done any operation yet so the cpu usage cluster load memory usage and network usage data will not be available so you may ask what is really a difference between a multi node cluster and a single node cluster so by seeing this so there is not much a difference if you are processing a very small file which we are going to do in this tutorial but if you are dealing with big data then definitely will feel a difference between a single node and a multi node cluster but the basic working principle will remain the same the only difference will be there will be a limited capability in a single node cluster and you cannot process a petabyte data files in a single node so from the next lecture we will get our hands dirty and start working on hadoop so whenever you are done with your work you just go to the sandbox and click right click and close the acpi shutdown so that your hadoop cluster will be shut down so just click on shutdown and that's it this lecture was all about setting up a hadoop cluster on your windows machine where we have installed hadoop step by step so i encourage you all to please download and install hadoop sandbox in your local machine so that you will get a hands on experience on dealing with big data because the upcoming lectures will totally depend on the hadoop ecosystem where we will work with the big data in our hdp sandbox so if you really want to follow along just watch this lecture again and install the hdp sandbox in your pc so if you like this lecture please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest update and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching